everyone, and welcome back to another episode of French Africa. Yeah, French Africa. That's totally the nation I'm playing as. Which technically it is because it is French. It's just French Africa, which, yeah. Anyways, yeah, we're back in our Le Francais campaign. And just a quick, I just wanted to quickly say to everyone, um, I've recently got, uh, oh, something dropped. <laughs> okay. Um, I recently, uh, I recently just wanted to say, um, thank you for all the support you guys have been giving this series, and thank you guys for sticking with me and my kind of, uh, you know, lackadaisical kind of style. I mean, most of my campaigns I played easy, and, you know, that may, that is sometimes very frustrating, but I find it really funny when I forget something, and I'm like, oh, shoot. And try to like recommend the situation. So, you know, I just want to say thank you guys for sticking with me. And yeah, it's been it's been fun. <laughs> and I will, I hope you guys will continue to support and do all that kind of stuff. All right. So now that we have kind of like cooled down and you know the French the French African colonies have kind of like given up since you know America and Austria somehow completely like spam past me I I still don't know how they quite like overcame me but they did and so we lost that war it, it was I, I don't know it was a shock to me and I bet it was a shock to you guys I did not expect that but anyways my new battle strategy or my new kind of strategy I'm thinking of is should we make Volto a Gibby in a, a colony nah They'll just they'll just rot and die as a regular as a regular vassal. Anyways, um, what I was thinking of doing is, well, now since we've kind of like winded down and it's kind of becoming the end game, or it's kind of becoming like your last end game strategies. Um, first off, I would like to uh, dang, if I could, I would love to have invaded Dahim by now. And just take him over, but that still to this day will not happen because of the stupid Chinese. And I can't go to war with China until Russia's at war or something, something or other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so what I'm thinking of doing is that I think I'm going to start um influencing. Okay, I can't. Can I influence? Okay, because what my strategy is is that Asia, as we all know, has a high market value because of its high population. So. What I was thinking of doing is using that to my advantage and just like take over a bunch of places and like use it to like propel my industry to number one so then I can have my prestige become like you know the greatest ever and right now I don't know what Konstink, Gantas, Aklas and Televors means but it's obviously giving us prestige and that is really good so anyways I'm thinking of what nation should be the one I should kind of like influence and some of you guys may be saying oh let's invest in China China would be like the greatest okay think about that one for a second China it's the biggest country out of them all almost every single nation fights over it and I'm not talking about ev just like a little bit of nations every nation fights over China and for me to hold it I would basically have to give up every one of my other spheres which you know, I'm not quite willing to do, and for some reason, I don't even, I can't even do that. It's because nation is on other continent. Okay, well that's just, I don't know, that, that kind of seems shady to me. Okay, but yeah, that's what I was planning to do, and what I was really planning to do, because honestly that'd be quite boring if that was my only plans, is I finally want to, like, do something in this region, okay? So... I've been like putting it off for a very long time and even internal crises have not like gone the way I planned. In fact, there's a new flash, there's actually a new flashpoint crisis about to concur and I'm going to be the one going to be heading that crisis. So once it like activates, I'll do that. Oh, and if you guys are wondering why my economy is looking looking like it's collapsing, what I've decided to do is officially um tax the poor a little bit less. Because I want the poor to be kind of become a little bit bigger in my states. Because we need, we kind of need the uh, labor class to grow to like, you know, maybe encompass all the farmers. So to do that, I think what we have to do is, um, their beliefs must be respected. We have to, um, 
completely not tax them. In fact, I'm just gonna test this out. I this is gonna bankrupt me in a second. Um, um, luckily, luckily my taxes can handle it for a little bit. But if we just do this for a second, how is that? Yeah, you see, farming becomes almost not fight the disease with everything we got. Okay. So, yeah, as you can see, farming becomes less and less important and more and more towards, you know, and mediocrity. So, let's get back to taxing. So, 60% of our taxes are going towards the people. And now, do we have any foreign debts? Wow! Okay! Our bank was able to pay off all of our debts before we even had to do anything. So, you know, you know, that is the first time in this game I have not been able to go into debt when I had no money. Yes! The French National Bank actually works! Oh man, does that make you feel so happy right now? Okay, let's read the doms. Okay, the kins are inside the Donchnik relations, the vise, the Belgium, the pop, the Protonis, the mountain top, the bird, the gun fleet, the oral canal, the new party, and the intervention! Man! Whew! Dang, that, that National Bank thing got me more hyped than I thought it did. Um, but, it's just such a glorious event, so, it's finally come to pass, um, <sighs> Ooh. let me see, how are my relationships with Great Britain right now, they're doing pretty good, um, let's keep increasing them, we're gonna need these guys, uh, what are we gonna do, the Polars ask us to back their side in the current crisis, what will we do, we are proceeding with this, and I don't care if the Austrians, the Russians, the Pushkins, the Swedish, the Ottomans, the Papel States, the Two Sicilies, the Sardinia Piedmont, the Belgians, the Netherlands, the Denmarkians, Spain, or Portugal declare war on me at the exact same time and try to wipe me out. This invasion is going to happen. And th unlike the other ones, I don't care what it will take, it is going to happen. I have been... The French have officially put their foot down and saying we are not backing down so yeah so instantly what we have to realize is who are instant allies Belgium should be an instant ally how are you not an instant ally Belgium we are like we are like the greatest of friends like literally we are the greatest of friends how are we not oh my goodness okay so hmm what if there's any way I could like form an alliance with one of these okay so you guys will accept, but I'm guessing you guys... No, you guys aren't on my side. Why is everyone, like, 25, 25 relationships against me? Hmm. That's really weird. Okay, well, you know what? Who? I'm going to form an alliance with them. And I'm going to get the two Sicilies on my side. So then, two Sicilies... Two Sicilies... Yeah, now we have a better relationship than... Than them. And over here, Belgium... Hmm... Belgium is not a strongest ally, but it's the only one that could possibly help us during this crisis. So, um, what if I, like, hmm, I doubt they would accept anything. Yeah, I was about to say, I doubt they would accept anything. I don't think they would be willing to liberate a nation. No, they would not. Okay, um, maybe, no, no, okay. So, what I'm gonna have to do is maybe, <laughs> United States, would you like to, um, form an alliance with me? Okay, United States actually gained some pride for themselves, and now they will not do anything with me. That's like the first time, so, um, as you can see, the, this, I did not know the Russians had, had a alliance with them, and, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit harder. So, as I can see the sides already shaping up, it's gonna be me, maybe two Sicilies, versus Belgium, Russia, uh, Austria, and the UK. I mean, this is not going to be the greatest alliance ever. I'm versing, I think I'm going against the top three militaristic powers. But like I said, um, I'm not backing down this time. I back down almost, yeah. Well, it's a good thing the UK, <laughs> it's a good thing the UK has all of its troops on a continent that I'm not actually on or anywhere near. Otherwise, I'd be messed over. Um, my militaristic... Yeah, I'm even... Even with the manpower, I'm stronger than them. The Russian Empire... Ooh. Well, actually, I'm still... Dang, I'm stronger than them. Um, Gunzai... Gunzai would be an awesome ally if I could get him a sphere away from China. 
Uh, Unite Ah, oh, they have no army. Okay. So combining these two guys of the Russian Empire and Austria, we should potentially have about the same amount of military as me. So yeah, this is this is going to be a pretty intense war and what I'm going to have to do is um kind of even the sides a little bit. So how am I going to do that you ask? Well, first of all, we have to start by looking at all of our colonies and looking where we need to start defending. So um over here over here we need to well, let me see do I have any army over here yes I do I have some army over here to try to to try to protect our little land of French Africa which is good don't get me wrong that's good so we have some men over there um what we need to start doing is um actually I'll mobilize right before the actual invasion begins because she never wanna the military cost is gonna be intense but we, I'll start moving my soldiers to the border, um, I have 44 troops right here, no, those are, those are ships, dang it, and I'm, my ships are outdated, I already know this, um, okay, yeah, you guys just, yeah, that's a good strategy, you guys group up over here, okay, um, actually, oh, shoot, there's a UK troop right there, okay, we got some troops right here, you know, I'm kind of, actually, for once it's actually paid off, I'm so glad America, like, circumnavigated my place over here, because that means I can just, like, take over as many places as I want, um, over here is going to be a big pr problem because we have no troops. Um, frankly, we don't have any troops over here either. Uh, so our colonial, our colonial investments over there are a little bit at risk. I will not deny that. Over here, we have tons of troops. Well, again, it's a 21 army. Uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult. I'm going to de not deny that. Um, over here, we have 42 troops. Um... You know what? Take these guys home. We will actually need these guys. Yeah. What? Where did I get this? Okay, I don't remember getting this army at any point in this game, so... Yeah, that was a shock. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll go send this army to go pick up the, at least some of these men. Make sure that this army and that army have about equal, and we're going to challenge these guys over here in the uh, in this region. Alright, so we're going to have to... Yes, this is this is going to be a pretty intense war. Um, what we're going to have to start preparing for is, and by the way, are we fighting for actual Poland and not just like a stupid winky dink state? Um, dang it. I would have preferred, <laughs> dang it, I thought that we were fighting for Warshock. Um, I would have preferred, preferred if we were fought for Warshock, but you know what, I understand. You know, you can't win them all, but this is, this is, this is literally going to be intense. And I'm not sure, you guys, you guys won't say yes. Um, in fact, you guys are probably leaning towards the other side, I'm guessing. Yep, because of political considerations, which I don't understand. You guys are communist? Okay. Let's get military access with you guys. So, um, if, if, uh, Prushka, does that help me at all? By the way, does that help me at all? Uh, I don't, I just don't think it's going to help me enough to fight against... Okay, well, I basically have two Sicilies sold. Um, I yeah, it seems like it seems like I know what the sides are gonna be. It's gonna be me, me and uh, huh, me and and maybe two Sicilies versus Austria. Ah, oh, dang, this is gonna be you know what? Austria, Russia, and Belgium and UK. Which, I'm perfectly fine with this arrangement. So, yeah. You know, normal people would be like, James, this is going to be impossible. Well, you know what? I have promised, I promised the freedom of the Polish people for so long that, you know, I bet some of you guys have even doubted I'd actually do it. Well, guess what? I'm proving, I'm proving those doubters wrong and my industry is going to collapse. That's it. <laughs> Okay, and no, we actually do need our small industrial arms up and running, because this is actually, this is the first time I'm going to subsidize, because we actually do need a small industrial, industrial aim to be going, because when this war breaks out, it's going to be intense, and did I increase the farming population? I don't think so, but I may have. I just may have. That isn't good. Um, that is not good at all. You know, oh, I know what I could do. 
crisis set in motion. All right. You know what I could do? Um, off screen, I'm going to go back to all my natural focuses and change them all to labor into my main country. So I'll be right back. Okay, back. Just had to do that for a quick second. Okay. And now labor force should be increasing. And we found oil, yes. Okay, so that means if we live through this. Oh, shoot. Okay, yes. Um, Belgium, what are you guys thinking? Ah, uh, dang. Come on, Belgium. Don't. Don't you dare switch over to the other side. Um, free people of Japan, Moldavian. I don't think. Dang. I really don't think these guys would be into the whole idea of freeing people. I really, really, for the love of me, don't want to fight. For the love of me, free people, negative 99. Okay, they're not even interested in freeing people. Yeah. How about colonial... How about they get Alaska? Did that give them a place under the sun? No. Dang. You guys aren't really interested in this. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, it's going to be... I'm going to have to teach the Belgians, first of all, to respect my power. And to be reminded why I let them live. Well, it's not really I let them, it's more of just like, they're that little state I have to deal with. So, right now, our economy is just ramping up for the eventual invasion. Um, we have a steamer shipyard closed. And normally, like I said, I would like, close it up and say, you guys aren't good, you guys should go like, you guys should go like, do better and yada yada yada. But, we're about to be at war with a major country. And I'm really ho- please rebels, please, for the love of, for the love of Benji, do not rebel. Oh no, the French ultra liberals are actually gaining. Okay, <sighs> okay, we for, for for the love of me, we do not need a rebel problem. So, um, what do you guys want, and I'll give it to you. And I, that's usually not me. I don't usually like to do that. I don't usually like to give you guys anything, but you guys are gonna. Okay, good, acceptable healthcare system. Why not? That does actually not give me anything bad news. So, I'll do that with big gusto. And prices rise. Almost there, okay. Whew, this is getting intense, and the Russian Empire, I bet, is saying, Oh yeah, James, did you realize that uh, everyone turned against you? And I'm going to be like, Yo, Russia, no. <laughs> I don't care. You wanted to, you don't want to free the stupid Polish people? I'll do it my own self, and I know. And actually, if I can crush a lot of these armies, and actually do just a defensive war, then I should be, no. No, you guys, you guys will not, you guys will not. So how many days do I have left? I should probably mobilize like 20 days before. That way I can have my army ready for this. And no, I'm not backing down. And Poland, I'm ready for you if you guys, I'm, Belgium, I'm ready for you guys if you guys declare war on me. I mean, my troops are, <laughs> and there's many offers being presented right now. Russia, you ready to go to war? Because I'm not... I'm going to keep declining. Just to get you guys angry. I'm not giving... I'm not giving up. Okay, you guys... Oh, dang. I wish there was an army corps right now. Alright, you guys just rest here. We're going to try to crush this instant... Um... Austrian land over here. I know there is a gigantic 42 army right there, but there's nothing I can do about it. Um, we just don't have the militaristic power to deal with it right now. Okay. Over here, uh... Let me split up my troops, like, 12,000, you guys go on the boat. That should be enough to, like, to, like, uh, what is it called? Oh, yeah, be able to fight in the, in this region. So, let's go here, and 58 days, guys, and I'm not giving up. It's either, it's either Russia's going to accept defeat or I'm going to go to war with them. This is the way it's going to be. And I'm, I'm really, I'm a really cold heart. Okay, the only thing I really hope is that they do not. The only thing that could hurt me and possibly kill me is if they, uh, wait. Any possible way I can form an alliance with China? No. Okay. The only thing that could possibly hurt me is if they send all their army down to Korea. That could potentially damage me forever. And I could never recover from there. Okay. 40, 39, 38, 36, 35, excellent, um, I racked up a good amount of army, and 20 days, okay, now that we have new systems, store in Cheyenne, okay, 
and the crisis has reached critical levels. So now we're gonna mobilize. The first time I, I the first time we have seriously mobilized in a crisis before. Um, twenty days before. Um, now I'm going to start. Oh shoot! I guess when you instantly declare mobilization, they instantly declare war on you. Um. Okay. Well, everyone, we are officially at war. Um, time to start taxing my people to death. Uh huh. As we all know, this is how the French are. We tax. Okay, we're gonna have to. Yeah, this is this is really gonna have to be taxes. I'm so sorry, Lord Crass, but you guys are gonna have to do it. But anyways, I'm gonna have to leave the actual battling, versing, the actual pitting against each other for next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this preparation video, and I will see you guys next time.